I mean, it's near a film industry and um, accessibility and easier to work with these people. I mean, I have to give them that. You know? It's like, it's like saying if, if Jamaica had a, 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 a thriving film industry and we named Nollywood, I'm um, Jollywood, like Nollywood or whatever it name. And you ask me, why are we using Hollywood actors in our movie? I'll be like, oh, <laughs> it's our culture. We don't necessarily have to. So that's what I'm saying. I can't be, I can't be wallowing in that narrative. It's an old narrative. Whoa. I don't know, and why you want that? You know, I'm I'm Marcus Garvey. I know, I'm, I know Avatar. I know, you know, our acting is not necessarily the same. I mean, there are basic things about acting that you should, you know. But we are different people, different manners, and different dialects. We have to know work on that as our industry. Like, what is the dialect for Jamaica is going to sound in our film here? Because Hollywood accent is not the American accent, so to speak. It's not the hundred percent American accent. You have some accent in America, yeah. Same thing with with UK. Some Cockney accent. They must be capturing it same way. So my thing is, they're gonna use these people because they think the language is much clearer from their peer. The accessibility, them love, like easy for work, with blah blah. All these things that them use, and the big one is. They think we don't have the skill, you know? And we're not gonna be egotistical and not like, you know, you don't want to look at yourself. If someone said that, come, can say, yeah, yeah, I can't say that, I can say that too, but still I can look at myself and say, why is that so? What? And then we look at me and say, mm, the space need more. The digital space need more of our actors expressing their range from a flurry all the way to that still European style acting. Swing it back to your African style acting. Because we don't even know about African style acting, which used to come through Janko, you know, because them characters like Actor Boy or whatever, because those are acting characters. I give a big acting tip. African performing arts philosophy was never separating the discipline. Music, dancing, singing, encapsulate your acting. And, and if I'm going to play Emily as a role, I have to find a song for her, find a body shape for her, find a dance for her. And that style of getting characters it's amazing, it's like I play an insane and Kurt origin, right? And it's a small part, but you know, it's it's a it's of a big story, right? And every time I think about that role, I'm thinking about how much deeper I can get into the African style, you know? You know, I see an insane name of a little song where we're ominous around him, and my little way walk, you know? You know what I mean? Then we could think they make the character exciting. And if we can mix all them styles, Jamaican, the African, European, Hollywood, and boom, and just show them so we have it. I will full of, full of talent, Emily. How you talking about? How much things you are doing? <laughs> we can do, but I just think we don't really believe in ourselves. And, and discipline is a thing. I would say my culture don't really have a type of discipline. We have a, we love the free flow, but with everything there is discipline. And by discipline, I don't mean bad behavior, cause them treat with that way. No matter about discipline, like where them Asians have the, the Japanese and the Chinese culture, where it's about consistency, you know? you know? It doesn't matter how bad or good you are. If you're practicing to become permanent, not perfect, you bet. Sterling, I'm a boss. Play football. But it's not talent separate Sterling from the rest of talented youth here. It's discipline. It's for a seeming in discipline. My turn up a training. And a disciplined person will always progress faster than anybody else. Yeah. So not that.
why aren't Jamaican born actors not not acknowledged for their amazing, amazing Your acting? Well, that's a local thing. You have the Actor Boy Awards. I love them. Even though they waited 15 years to give me an acting award. But I love them. I love the concept. But what I don't like is that it doesn't feel like how the Grammy feels or the Emmy or the Oscar. Actor Boy shouldn't be this elite thing. It should be this free show that every entire country look out to see and try to ram up themselves in an emancipation park and a red carpet from, from Knoxford all the way to the, the stage of emancipation park and we walk and I strut it and be a camera and paparazzi and we build our own energy. And then grandma, everybody look over and say, what's going on in Jamaica? Because nothing can bust unless Jamaican said for bust. So why are we wasting our time? Bring Actor Boy Awards to the people. Make them feel involved so that they can be like, oh, now you can win actor, an acting award that I've never seen in the play, in a play. Let me go see these plays. It has to be a unity. Because nobody knows about theater that one time. Why am I going to theater and a star from the theater and a sick? A school man. Well, walk the red carpet. I'm not for win nothing. That's why I walk. I don't want to scream. <laughs> And, if, and then you have a section where it's popular voting and, you know, them. And then you have the Youth View Awards who adapt this thing at all time. It's the same concept, but it's still limited because I've never been nominated for anything in the Youth View Awards. Well, that makes sense. When, you know, now nah, knock nah, shutters or dance out queen. But come on, Better Must Come is like a bar raiser in the film industry. After 13 years, it's underpromoted and people love it. So, we ourselves now seek out and highlight our own people. So, our icons and young stars always feel like, say, you know, we have to leave this place or forget some recognition. It's like, no, because everybody's coming here to get recognition. We're talking about, you know, big up Oville. If they're compensation like we're actually, you know. Experience is invaluable. I shot in London, I shot some parts in London. I don't even know I reached London because it was a very small part. Trailer experience. I mean, I said, we well, have trailer here. But come on, man, at least a bus. Like, make that the priority. I shouldn't be on no set. And I have to be in character and then people is walking up to me to say hi and then I can't just shove them off and say I'm working no you get what I say that's one right they might say they do have it but it's for specific projects where the budget of food like that's foolishness it is fine that's one no work ethic film filmmaking is totally teamwork unity, everything. And if we can't get that right as a people, we'll never excel in the film industry because it requires a lot of teamwork and a lot of um, controlled ego for you to know that even if you're carrying water, it's so important to do it properly. So my experience the work ethic, the work rate, my experience the emphasis on teamwork, the emphasis on having the workspace, a safe space, like, creatives know this. If, if, it's, if it's not a safe space, you can't be creative. And then I got to say something, I got to judge my feet when it's just, you know, we're being creative. Some things work, some don't work, but we have to throw this thing on the canvas. I love that. I love that. Now, when they came here, we never had the trailer. We never had that. You know, I mean, I say, because two things. The trailer will make some people hype, you know. But why I need the trailer is because the, the actor is supposed to wait comfortably because you're protecting the actor's mind because the mind is very fragile and it takes anything to distract. So to stay in the line of the emotion that we need. Imagine if you have a crying scene or come up and we have to say something funny before. Like, no, 
keep me in that room, protect my space. And when you're ready for me, I'm coming with the tears. That's what I got when I in London. Like when I walked onto the set, they were so ready. I thought I was in a real bathroom. And walking is like, I'm supposed to duck. I'm a duck. I'm a watch and hip on the wall behind me. And the wall moves out. I'm mean, so this is not a wall. And then one man peeped out and said, yo, I'm on it. I got this, man. I got this. <laughs> and, this is, and then one person up and said, over my head. And I said, what on? Out of the way. Being back, just appear for me. And I said, oh, they want me to feel like it's a real watch. Dirty, you know? Everything clean, like they probably use chocolate. You know, I'm gonna say this is awesome. And the different tell one next to me. I watch one next to the car, I'm gonna see him. And the injury is the thing, and just walk me in, I see that. We just have the energy, I say, all right. Yes, we have to do it, and we have to play a dope. I'm gonna do the first take. He just walk in the room and say, all right. In order for this not to be funny, because remember, you're, you're a ghost. I just want stillness, zero. And I'm, as a Jamaican actor, I'm a love to hear them things. Like, I'm more sure so we get with know how to interpret this shit. Really upon him. Love it. I, I, I love it so much, they use my worst think. That me assure you. That, so I, uh, there is a take where it was utterly a mistake. It was like I forgot to duck. You know, me and Geet say, but I forgot to duck. It's important. I forgot to duck. And instead I go, oh shit. I go, close my eye. Oh my goodness. That's the, that's the reaction. But I think after months, a year later, I say, he's the. My contest. There's a moment to put in the Bob song called The Lead Actor. Because I like about his process. Him did him, I said, yo, you know what song we hear for that scene, yo? It's not a talking scene, it's a mids. I said, me, I hear a bob, you know, high ties, low ties. And I said, yeah. He called him, PA, find a song. And find a song and start playing. High ties, over all time. I'm gonna be your friend. We did it on the mood, a swing. A swing. And a mark, we have mark the scene, right? And we did them white balance, etc. We just a gel with my actor, you know, and a swing. And then say, okay, come out the shot now, we're gonna start with. I'm gonna come out. And then start. And then say, okay, that's it. I'm gonna look for it, just messing well, I'm gonna shoot it. No mask, or shoot that one on one. And I say, oh yeah, I press record when you were. I'm gonna say, so you use a take and tell me, you know, say action, you must say yes. Sometimes when the actor hear action, they, they come fake. Even when I look at percent of it and say, well, you see, right, that's so. You just lean over to him, camera. What do I say? You're making me look good, bro. <laughs> so them, them edgy, creative, intuitive, knock, eye, whatever it is. It's not no highfalutin budget or no, it's a, it's a very humble, simple thing. You know, people think creativity, for creativity is all well you use your constraints. That's me. Or you can't fit your idea, you know, a matches box. One of my ex-girlfriends told me that it stays with me forever. Big up the exes. <laughs>